For Europe's farmers, it's the big squeeze. Rising costs of production since the war in Ukraine began and the prospect of tougher EU environmental regulations. The EPP group's Col Markey raises cattle and grows feed in Ireland. Well, as a farmer myself, the whole situation as regards fertilizers is something that I, I've experienced. Where last year we went out and we had to pay up to a thousand euros for a ton of fertilizer, whereas in previous years it was two or three hundred euros a ton. It's a similar story in Germany. The apple growers in my constituency, they are hit uh, hard because they don't receive higher prices uh, for their apples, uh, but the costs increased a lot with the inflation, with higher um, costs for uh, pesticides, with higher costs for fertilizers. For example. Meanwhile, the European Commission wants to cut the use of pesticides by 50% by 2030. We need young farmers uh, who are willing to apply new methods. So I'm convinced we cannot reduce pesticides, but for sure the proposal which we have on the table, which puts simply, I think, also a bit stupid target, like you need to reduce for 50 percent, uh, is a nonsense. We need a more balanced approach. The EPP group says give farmers more of a chance to innovate. MEP Marlene Motlo is lead author of a European Parliament report entitled Ensuring Food Security and Long-Term Resilience of EU Agriculture. Ich persönlich halte es für falsch, wenn die Antwort Verbote lautet. Wir brauchen keine Flächenstilllegungen. Die Frage heute lautet, wie können wir auf weniger Fläche mehr Menschen trotzdem nachhaltig und ressourcenschonend äh, versorgen. Dans le Grand Est, nous sommes une région très agricole hein, et une région dans laquelle on a beaucoup euh, misé sur euh, la bioéconomie. Et donc le monde de l'agriculture avec le monde industriel pour essayer eh bien, de valoriser l'ensemble des productions agricoles. Voir aussi comment les agriculteurs peuvent obtenir des certificats de carbone qui ensuite pourrait être revendu eh bien, à des industriels. There's innovation too in South Tyrol, in Italy. We grow 10% of European apples. A lot of farmers in my region moved to organic farming in the last years. MEPs say the European Union should be more supportive, not punitive, in striving for greener agriculture while ensuring food security. Farmers get a bad rap in this. They're quite progressive and quite open. Like if you take GPS use of, of fertilizer spreading or spraying, if you look at new genomic techniques in terms of uh, plant breeding techniques, and they're willing to put the best foot forward as long as people work with them, talk with them rather than talk at them. The European Commission is dafür bekannt, that she möglichst viel and alles regulieren will. Aber das stranguliert unsere Bauern immer mehr. Sie brauchen mehr Freiheit, sie brauchen mehr Vertrauen. The EU's Common Agricultural Policy, or CAP, has helped ensure food security, but MEPs say extraordinary times require extraordinary measures. Le monde a changé depuis qu'on a voté la PAC. Et donc, pour assurer notre sécurité alimentaire, pour remplir aussi des objectifs environnementaux, eh bien, derrière, il faut des moyens supplémentaires. Et je pense qu'il faut, par exemple, mieux rémunérer les agriculteurs quand ils arrivent à séquestrer le carbone, quand ils arrivent à diminuer les émissions. 